The Pope has been a very naughty boy. Two grime MCs fight over the armrest on an Emirates flight. And Donald Trump's lawyer's face starts to melt during a press conference. Welcome back to Sam Foley News, the news show that puts the wrong colour bin out before bin day to confuse the neighbours. So we'll start off with my favourite news story of the year so far. The Vatican have launched an investigation after the Pope's official Instagram account liked a picture of a saucy Instagram model. This is the picture in question. It's alright, isn't it? So the Brazilian model in question is a young lady called Natalia Garibotto, in case any of you want to look her up for research purposes. So eyebrows were raised as the big P-man dropped a double tap on this little saucy photo. Naturally, the Vatican are fuming. According to the Daily Mail, they've contacted Instagram to find out exactly what happened. I can just imagine the conversation between the Vatican and Instagram. Hello, is that Instagram? It's the Vatican. Yo, how can we help? Yeah, we're not too happy about this photo of this saucy model that you've liked on our behalf. Yeah, yeah, we've looked into that and uh, we've traced the IP address. Oh yeah, where's it from? Well, we traced the IP address to the Pope's bedroom. I mean, it is pretty obvious what's happened here, isn't it? At the end of the day, the P-man's only human, you know, he's flesh and blood. Just because you lead the biggest church in the world doesn't mean you can't appreciate a bit of Brazilian booty. Joking aside, it's probably just some random social media intern who's double tapped the picture by accident and just absolutely panicked. I'm almost certain the Pope's never been on Instagram in his life. It doesn't strike me as the most social media savvy chap in the world. And I, I don't think we'll be seeing him doing the WAP dance anytime soon on TikTok. Credit to Sky News for using this photo in their article, which seems to be the exact moment the Pope found out that he'd like this picture on Instagram. Moving on, Grime MCs Heady One and Tion Wayne got into a bit of a dust up on an Emirates flight back from Dubai early this week. <laughs> Unconfirmed reports that Heady lost his head after Tion had been hogging the armrest all the way back. Joking, of course. What actually happened was everything kicked off after Tion refused to lend him his neck pillow. I don't know why they were fighting. Best thing about this video, both men trying really hard to look like they actually want to fight, when in reality no one's actually holding either of them back. Although to their credit, it's probably for the best they didn't actually properly kick off because the fight happened in Dubai, where you can get locked up for winking at somebody the wrong way. Both men managing to maintain a little bit of street cred whilst avoiding a life sentence. Could argue they handled it pretty well, which is more than can be said for the fellow in our next story. Donald Trump's personal lawyer, Rudy Giolani, hosted a comedic press conference this week. Mr. Giolani promised things were heating up in their attempt to overturn the election result. In fact, things were heating up so much that during the press conference, Giolani's face started to melt. A very big spike in the vote count at exactly that time. Right up. Several times during the press conference, Giolani had to wipe what was thought to be hair dye off his face, which was a little bit grim. All joking aside, that was probably the most awkward press conference I'd seen since Nigel Pearson called that bloke an ostrich. And I think you, 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 you are an ostrich. In other news, I made a fool of myself on Twitch again this week. Oh my word. That is literally the worst goal I've ever seen on FIFA. Woeful. But in all seriousness, I'm having a great time on Twitch. I stream Monday to Fridays at 9pm. If you're on Twitch, look me up, Sam Foley. Building a great little community over there, the Sam Foley FIFA unit. I'm taking Stoke from the Championship to the Champions League. I can't believe what I've just done. Probably going to take a while. That brings us to a close, guys. This is the fourth week in a row I've managed to nail one of these videos. I'm having fun making them. Hopefully you're enjoying watching them. If you're not, don't worry about it. I'll probably lose interest in a few weeks.